So, so I'm trying to do a 40 plus mile ride today, right into a place called Dawes Warren, and then to the quay, and then to the beach, and then back. So, I'm going to stop off for snacks because last time I bonked after 30 miles. I'm not really super into it at the moment. I am. And every two days for the last like, week and a half. <laughs> Every time I get onto this cycle path towards Exeter Quay, there's always a headwind, always a headwind. So I'm constantly not being able to talk. I'm trying this new like cup in the cup in the microphones and seeing if that helps. We'll, we'll see. But so far so good, doing good for pace. Just about to hit uh, the quay shortly. Then from the quay to Star Cross, Star Cross to Dawlish. So from fun. How can you not love that view? time of day to go out all the old boys are out all with hang hang bikes and now we're going for this horrible climb we put these like little feel what they put these little islands on it which makes you like get speed and then go oh dum dum and back up again stupid <laughs> The fact there's like next to no traffic lights on these rides makes it so much nicer. No stop start like I was in London. Also on the road, I can maintain 20 miles an hour. Sick. Flapjack, yes, please. It's got the most confusing cycle path ever. This keeps appearing and disappearing and going around corners and going around bends and then there's signs and there's no signs. Now I'm not on it, now I'm next to it. And the views are on here, it's beautiful. I mean, weather's just disappearing for a little bit, it's nice cool down a little bit. This is a Martin Parr wet dream.
been a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful ride. Tan line's gonna suck later, but I'm having a good time. I'm really enjoying myself, 30 miles in. Hope to get to 50 by the time I get home, but we'll see. Alright, let me carry on again. Halfway was where I stopped. So I'm gonna go up back up to the quay and back to Exmouth Beach, a lap of Exmouth Beach, and then up the last climb of Salton Road. It's good fun, I should be knackered by then. I'll probably stop and get some like Luke or something to put in one of my bowls. I've run out of water now. And I'm parched. I am bloody parched, I am. Same food. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the beers? I mean, you're driving. Well, I was driving, but your mum's going to paddle tonight. Hello. Here's my daddy. Here's daddy. Mummy. Cheers. Cheers. What a joy. Mum, like ran at me because I couldn't hear her and I was having a cheeky pint when they when I stopped to get some some Lucas aid and some water just an electric like an actual lights because my legs are just dead I've still got another hopefully 10 miles of this ride left I had a climb to finish off the finisher GoPro died down the beach, but before I even got to the beach, which was super annoying as I was like approaching it to stop working. If I stopped working, it probably means the battery's dead and I didn't realise. I think it was on in my pocket for about half hour, 45 minutes, without even realising it. But no, good ride. I didn't get to 50, which is really annoying. I got to 48. Genuinely thought that that would be enough. I mean, like, all I had to do was basically go up to the quay when I was there rather than turn around like I did. I was meant to go to the key, I, just, I said I was gonna go to the key and then just was like, oh no, that's fine. Those two miles, um, I'll probably be over 50 if I go that way. Under 50 by exactly the amount of miles it takes to ride to uh, the key. But other than that, really nice ride, had a good time. Um, <coughs> sweating, bumping into mum and dad at uh, the, the Swan the Swan Inn or Swan, by the way, it's just one in Limston after I was getting my drinks. So it was a little doggy. Little Bella was just there chilling, absolutely knackered from a long walk as a little pup. Now, I'm getting ready to wash the bike because the bike's covered in like dirt, not, not dirt, but like dirt dust, everything. And then like the cassette is disgustingly filthy. <laughs>
Thank you.